Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going through the state website, uh, the state of California uh, website to obtain my small business certification. And as I was going about this, I have to use their UNSPC, uh, sorry, UNSPSC code uh, to identify different goods and services that my businesses offer, my business offers, so that as the uh, any state agency is seeking to procure any one of those goods or services, they can use their database to try and identify businesses, preferably small businesses, to reach out to, uh, to award those contracts to, to meet their goals, uh, their state mandated goals for small business participation and things of the like. Um, anyways, as I was going about this, it's uh, an incredibly time consuming and extensive endeavor to try and identify all these different services and only to that point I thought I would just uh, take a brief moment to record this experience just uh, and kind of explain it I'm not gonna bring all of this here to you um, but at least if you're within the state of California and you're seeking any type of pr uh, preferential business certification whether that be small business small business for public works uh, a minority owned business, if you're a disabled veteran business enterprise, you're going to have to go through the same exact thing. And the uh, accuracy of what it is you identify on your, on your profile is really going to determine the kind of uh, activity and feedback you're going to get and opportunities from procuring for the state. Uh, so I don't remember exactly what the acronym stands for, but a UNSPSC is I believe it's the United Nations Standard Product Serialized Code. Um, it's something to that effect. Uh, and so the UN came up with this, and every two digits in this number, it's an eight digit number, uh, further defines uh, something in that category. So uh, there's four different parts to your UNSPSC code. Uh, the first two numbers identify, I believe it's called the family, which is it, it's the first thing that kind of narrows uh, the the category of the item that you're you're looking for. Um, the next one is the segment, I believe it's called, which gives further definition to it. Uh, then it's something else, and then it's the product. But anyways, the only thing that you need to know with that. So this one, you can see the 72 million series is building and facility construction and maintenance services. The 7215 uh, quadruple lot series is specialized trades construction and maintenance services. 7215-1900 is masonry and stonework services, and then the full 7215-1904 is chimney construction and maintenance services. So you can kind of see how that breaks down into the four different uh, but further defined different sections of this. So uh, if you're going through this yourself, uh, you have to do a keyword search up here um, to just look for a generalized term uh, for the different goods or services it is that you offer, and it's going to return... Uh, what is available in their database uh, that has an exact match of that word or something of the like. Um, and you may have to go this a few different times and find all the ones that do apply to you. And then you have the option that you can include either everything in that family, everything in that segment, everything in the third category, or just that specific item itself. Um, and if you click any of these other ones here above, it will literally include all the different options um, which could be thousands upon thousands within those. Um, but it, nonetheless, if you literally cover everything as broad as this particular section here, you can have all that added to you. Um, so anyways, uh, I just, like, like I said, as I was going through this and was kind of overwhelmed with the extent and time consumption just of taking this is something I thought would be important for all of you guys to know. The actual application and obtaining the small business certification itself is quite simple. It's going very fast. Um, the state of California, I would say, has made this uh, rather expedient, which is uh, very uh, appreciated, if nothing else. But this is probably the most time-consuming part of that. And I hope that uh, whatever exposure I brought to you today regarding this part in its process that it was helpful to you you can kind of understand what it is you need to do here what it is you're looking for um, I have sort of had a direction on this from some, from some of my participation in procurement meetings with the uh, State Department of General Services so I've I've been exposed to this it's the first time doing it myself and so hopefully I can bring some of that to you um, and anyways, that's today's update. Hope you appreciated it. Uh, I thought I, was, I hope it was helpful to you. If this doesn't apply to you, then for that I apologize. But please do stick around um, for 
my next videos and the rest of this series of starting up my business. Uh, I always appreciate your views and participation. If you have any questions or comments, I encourage you to add those to the posting of this video. And uh, thank you. I'll see you the next time.